Trisha Kett Sorung V Sai versus Carlos Quadras to the rematch. Who do y'all think is gonna win this fight? Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video, it helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So to those who don't know, this fight is scheduled for 12 rounds in the Junior Bantamweight division for the vacant WBC Junior Bantamweight belt. If you guys don't know, Juan Francisco Estrada is now the quote-unquote franchise champion. So the regular WBC belt has been vacated and uh, Quadras and Rungvi side will be fighting for it. Um, yeah, the WBC has decided to become like the WBA where they will have two world title belts like a super version and a regular version and that's the case here they're going to be fighting room Visay and quadras will be fighting for the regular version and uh yeah um fight will be taking place on the 5th of february february 5 2022 live over at the gila river arena in glendale arizona usa to be shown live around the world on the zone except for in thailand so uh yeah the thai fans uh i'm sure you guys know where to watch it over in thailand uh but if you live in the us canada australia japan uk as long as you have the zone in your country you should be able to watch this event so uh it's a co-feature the co-main event for vargas versus liam smith and um yeah it's a good rematch in my opinion they haven't fought in years the last time they fought was all the way back when was that 20 2014 all the way back in 2014 and room Visai lost that fight by technical decision and now here they are fast forward six eight years later both fighters are still in the top of the division fighting in a rematch sukat set serving besides now 35 years old to those who don't know who he is he's also known as wisas click wang yek um yeah, that's his actual full name. And uh, yeah, he's from Thailand. Has a record of 50 wins, 5 losses, 1 draw, 43 wins coming by way of knockout TKO. This is the same belt that he lost to in the rematch against Estrada. Since the rematch against Estrada, he's won 3 fights in a row fighting over in Thailand. And now here he is making it back stateside to fight Carlos Quadras. Um, who is coming off a loss against Estrada where he had a shot at the title and he ended up falling short, losing by TKO in the 11th round. He has not fought in more than a year. Last time he, it was back in October of 2020. Uh, did not fight at all in 2021. I don't know why. I guess he was waiting for this fight against Rung Visay to happen, but you know it ended up not happening until now, until February 5. And in a rematch, when it comes down who who I think will win, over the years, you know, both fighters have definitely improved um, with experience, with speed, power. You know, they, they've definitely improved over the years. And right now, I'm leaning towards Rung Visay. Just because Rung Visay has more confidence at the moment, having three wins in a row. In a row. I know they weren't against the top of the division, against dangerous fighters, this and that. But that momentum he has going for him i think gives him the confidence that he needs in order to go out there and win this fight and quadras with him not fighting for more than a year and losing in a tough fight against um estrada i'm not sure the mentality of quadras is right now i'm sure you know he's a fighter he'll he'll go out there and give it his all and i think he will make it competitive don't get me wrong but in the end i think i think rumbi sai will will win a competitive fight Eight rounds to four, seven rounds to five, going the distance. I don't think anybody's going to get knocked out. Um, I just hope that it doesn't end up going to the scorecards again via technical decision, just like the first fight. Um, I think it was a headbutt that caused a cut that led to the fight going to uh, the scorecards the first time around. And I think the scorecards were uh, 74, 77, 73, 78, 75, 77 in favor of Quadras. So hopefully... Uh, no headbutts this time around, but because of their styles and their stances with uh, uh, Rungvi Sai being a southpaw and Quadras being a, an orthodox, the likelihood of them butting heads again is very likely, but 
you know, here's to hoping that uh, they'll try to avoid that. Anyway, competitive fight, but I'm leaning towards Rune Visai. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts and comments. Who do y'all have winning the rematch? Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.